Jews have been in Syria probably since the times of King David, as the Empire of Israel spread that far. Although ruling powers changed, a Jewish population remained, and even expanded as an influx of Sephardic Jews joined the local population following the former's expulsion from Spain. In Aleppo, the Jewish community was a major part of the trading route that passed through throughout the centuries. And the name of the community alludes to the continuous connection to this location throughout. Named Kihlat Aram Toba, after the ancient name for Aleppo, the community also calls itself Khalabi, after the Arabic name for the city. And so, it is interesting to consider the Pesach traditions of the ancient community. During Yachat in the Seder, the Chalabi family would do a bit of a performance. After breaking the middle of the three central matzot, the father of the house would take the bigger of the two pieces and wrap a napkin or a piece of cloth around it. Carrying the wrapped matzah in his right hand over his left shoulder, he would then recite Mish'arotam tzurot besimlotam al shikhmam uvnei Israel asu kidvar Moshe. The rest of those seated at the meal would then ask him Min wen jai? From where are you coming? He would reply, from Egypt, and the conversation would continue in Arabic. Uluwen rayah, to where are you going? To Jerusalem. Lawen rayah. Uesh fi zawidtach, and what is your food for the road? Matzah and maro. He then transfers the matzah from his left shoulder to his right shoulder while saying the shana haba'a birushalayim. To which the others respond, Ba'agala o bizman karib, speedily and soon. And then he passes the wrapped matzah to the next person at the table, and the process is repeated one by one. Speaking of one, who knows one? Some of us may know the English version of the popular Pesach song, but it wasn't in every country of Jewish residents that English was the preferred language of translation. In Syria, for example, the song has an Arabic version. Although, Contrary to the English translation, the Chalabi song has a few nuances. Entitled Min Ya'alam U Min Yadri, the concept for which the numbers stand for in the song vary from the Hebrew version. Take number two, for example. Instead of it standing for the two tablets, in Min Ya'alam, it stands for Moshe and Aharon. And number seven, it's for the seven days of the Chupa, a custom of North African and Middle Eastern Jews. And number 13 stands for the years of a bar mitzvah. Interesting, no? And yet, it makes sense with what we know. But since the origins of the Hebrew version, Echad Miodea, are in themselves unclear, who's to say which came first? Now, to follow through with the Aram Toba tradition, let's take a look at the end of the holiday. After the week of Pesach comes to a close, Chalabim bless each other in a unique way. They take weeds, together with stalks of grain, after all the holiday of Pesach is a holiday of crops. With these weeds, they tap the shoulders of friends and acquaintances, wishing them, in Arabic, a good year as green as the greens they are holding. Sentek Khudra, Mithab Aziz.